Hi, welcome to Big Ted's Home and Garden. In today's video, I'm going to be taking a look at the Top Tes PT299 Combustible Gas Leak Detector. I'll be looking at the key features of this pocket-sized telescopic gas leak detector and testing it with a range of different combustible gases. I've got a 10% Amazon discount code for you and I've also got one to give away to one lucky viewer. With gas prices at record highs, a gas leak could be costing you serious money. Or even worse, potentially putting the lives of your family in danger. These photos show how devastating a gas explosion can be. And they emphasise why gas safety is so important. The PT299 is the latest in a range of combustible gas detectors from TopTes. What attracted me to this particular model is its small size. It's only 20mm wide and only marginally thicker. And the fact that it's got a telescopically extending probe. Inside the box we've got the instruction manual in English, French, Italian, German and Spanish. We've got the probe itself, that's the detector on the end. It's got an LCD screen and below that we've got the power button and the sensitivity button. The body's made from a rigid plastic and has textured surfaces to increase grip. There's a handy belt or pocket clip and on the end we've got this cap which you remove to insert the batteries. The PT299 takes two AAA batteries and these are actually supplied by TopTes. Duracell batteries as well. The batteries just drop in, positive end first. And then you screw the cap back on. And then if we depress the power button, it'll turn on and go into the 30 second calibration mode. The rod with the probe at the tip is telescopic. And extending it takes the length of the whole probe from 208 millimetres or just over 8 inches, to 320 millimetres, or just over 12 and a half inches long. It gives you a bit of extra reach if you need to get into enclosed spaces, and it also means that you're a little bit further away from a potentially explosive leak. And then when you finish, you can simply push the rod back in, and the probe's then small enough to fit into a trouser or chest pocket. The PT299 has two sensitivity levels, and you can toggle between them by pressing the button labelled S, which is the sensitivity selector. In high sensitivity mode, the alarm will be triggered if the detector detects a concentration of greater than 1% of the lower explosive limit. In low sensitivity mode, it requires a concentration of greater than 3% of the LEL. When these limits are reached, you'll get a visual and an audible alarm. And you'll see that if I take the gas source away, the screen shows you that the concentration is dropping until it reaches a safe level. Top Tes claim that the PT299 will detect a whole range of combustible gases, so let's try it with a few. This is gasoline or petrol. You can hear it picks that up very, very quickly. Next we'll try propane. This is used in caravans, RVs, in some countries for domestic cooking. I use it for the gas barbecue and for brewing beer. In this demo you can hear that the beeping of the alarm increases in frequency as you get closer to the source and then slows down as the concentration decreases. Okay, let's try it with alcohol. This is Scotch whiskey. Alcohol's got a much higher boiling point than propane for example so I wouldn't expect the probe to react as quickly and I actually have to change the position of the probe before it does actually detect the alcohol fumes. Butane or lighter fuel was picked up much more quickly by the probe even when the source was at an angle of 90 degrees to the inlet. But most people would be wanting to use probes like this to check the central heating system. So what's it like at detecting natural gas or methane? Fortunately this boiler's not leaking. So we'll test the probe out instead on the gas stove. Right, so I'll turn the gas on. And as you expect, the sensor picks it up pretty quickly. The interesting bit was when I turned the gas off, the LCD screen shows the gas level's falling, but there is still some gas there. It didn't drop anywhere nearly as quickly as it did in the propane test, which shows the importance of ventilating the area if you do have a suspected leak. As well as supplying this leak detector for review, Top Tests have kindly supplied me with a second one to give away. To have a chance of winning it, all you need to do is add a comment below by the 2nd of January 2024 and then I'll put the names of all the contributors in a hat and draw out the lucky winner. Top Tes have also supplied a 10% Amazon discount code 
The code and Amazon product links are in the description below. So I do hope you found this useful. If you have, leave a thumbs up. If you've got any questions, leave a comment below. And don't forget to subscribe to Big Ted's Home and Garden. I'll see you soon.